All right, as reviews start to roll in for Cars 3, the critics are feeling pretty positive, and fans of the franchise are getting revved up. In today's Entertainment City, we're talking to Owen Wilson and his co-stars about getting back on track. You'll never be the racer you once were. Visualize beating this guy. It's been 11 years since the first Cars movie raced into theaters with a winning formula of humor, heart, and action. Now, after a sequel that sort of spun out of control, the characters are back for a sweet ride in Cars 3. Some fresh faces, uh, voices, are added to the fleet, including Kerry Washington, Army Hammer, and Nathan Fillion. But returning as Lightning McQueen is, of course, Owen Wilson. And this time around, McQueen is facing the perils of being past his prime. Terry Hart chatted with Wilson about the movie's aging athlete angle. I love the fact that one of the themes in this is remembering that, you know, even as we get older, we still have something to offer. Did that particularly resonate with you? I think so, because, you know, I, I think that what happens to a lot of us, we're not quite aware of you know, getting older because, you know, you, you begin to sort of feel or you hear yourself saying things that maybe your parents had like, I don't feel, you know, like I'm in my 40s. I feel like I'm this age. But of course you are. And I think that it is kind of a nice message in this movie, the idea of sort of being a mentor and uh, giving back. This is my last chance, Cruz. Last. If I lose, I never get to do this again. It's amazing how much emotion you feel for a car. How do you think they make us feel so much? I don't know. I guess it's like the animators are great at, you know, making these sort of cars kind of expressive. And, uh, and the voices. We can't forget about these voices are so good. They are so good. <laughs> hey, Jackson Storm, right? Great race today. Wow. Thank you, Mr. McQueen. Was doing a voice in an animated movie a bucket list item for you? For sure. But you're the bad guy. Right. Right. Yeah. How did you explain to your kids? Listen, I'm going to be the bad guy, but I get the better car. <laughs> you know, it balances out, you know. You have no idea what a pleasure it is for me to finally beat you. Oh, thanks. Hey, look, did you say meet or beat? I think you heard me. Is it the easiest job in the world? There are some things about it that are easy, but, you know, it really does require a lot of imagination to be able to sit in a booth and not have anybody to say the lines with me and none of your other fellow actors. No props, no costume, no makeup. So a big part of your toolbox as an actor is taken away and you still have to make it just as real. So is it brain surgery? No. But it is, it's, it challenges you in a different way. I show up and stand in a recording booth and I take my shoes off and I stand there and I like talk, 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 and then I go home. So my job is really easy. I think I touched a nerve. And coming up tomorrow, we're chatting with Kirsten Dunst about her new drama, The Beguiled.